ABC Cycle 1, Week 20. We're going to go ahead and sing our timeline song. Australia becomes a commonwealth, Mexican Revolution. And then the next thing we have, World War I and President Wilson. Lenin and the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia. U.S. evangelist Billy Graham. Modern period of the arts. The Great Depression and the New Deal. Let's do that a couple more times. This week I didn't do any hand motions, and so we're just going to sing it and get really good at the timeline song. Australia becomes a commonwealth, Mexican Revolution, World War I and President Wilson, Lenin and the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia, U.S. evangelist Billy Graham, modern period of the arts, the Great Depression and the New Deal. Last time. Australia becomes a commonwealth. Mexican Revolution. World War I and President Wilson. Lenin and the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia. U.S. evangelist Billy Graham. Modern period of the arts. The Great Depression and the New Deal. That was our timeline. We're going to go ahead and move on to math. Math, we had the circumference of a circle. We had paper circles, and we wrote 3.14 on them because that is what pi is. We learned the circumference of a circle equals 2 times pi times the radius. And pi equals 3.14 and more. So we're going to sing the song. We have... The circumference of a circle equals 2 times pi times the radius. Pi equals 3.14 and more. The circumference of a circle equals 2 times pi times the radius. Pi equals 3.14 and more. The circumference of a circle equals 2 times pi times the radius. Pi equals 3.14 and more. The circumference of a circle equals 2 times pi times the radius. Pi equals 3.14 and more. Then we went ahead and we moved on to our English. And our English is linking verbs. We had our linking verbs, and this is to the ants go marching in. A linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. A linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. And this is linking verbs. A linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. A linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. A linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. A linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. Then we went ahead and we moved on to history and we learned about the Mexican Revolution. Let's say that together. The Mexican Revolution. We had circa 1910 during the Mexican Revolution in the song, it does not say the word during. So it says, circa 1910, the Mexican Revolution, Pancho Villa and Emiliano Zapata fought the federales. Federales are the police. Why? Let me tell you why. For land and liberty. So we here go. We grabbed our musical instruments and we made some noise and we did circa 1910, the Mexican Revolution, Pancho Villa and Emiliano Zapata fought the Federalists for land and liberty, yeah, yeah, for land and liberty. Circa 1910, the Mexican Revolution, Pancho Villa and Emiliano Zapata fought the Federalists for land and liberty, yeah, yeah, for land and liberty. Tell me about the Mexican Revolution. Circa 1910, the Mexican Revolution, Pancho Villa and Emiliano Zapata fought the Federales for land and liberty. 
Let's move on to Latin. We had third declension noun endings. Third declension noun endings. We um, sang it to the song of um, B-I-N-G-O and we have my dog Bingo. So we're gonna use Bingo in just a second, but we had various is and then like a B and then um, eh, and then we had ace, um, ibis, ace, ibis. And so we went ahead and sang this song and we used um, bingo to hold on to it. And then the other kids um, did motions. So everybody got the chance to hold on to bingo. And so let me go ahead and sing this with you. So we had one hand for singular. Various is e m a various is e m a various is e m a singular third declension and then we hold up two hands with number threes and we did ace um ibis ace ibis ace um ibis ace ibis ace um ibis ace ibis plural third declension and so if i held up my hands like this I'll be able to show you. Various is e m a. Various is e m a. Various is e m a. Singular third declension. Ace um ibis ace ibis ace um ibis ace ibis ace um ibis ace ibis plural third declension. Then we went ahead and we moved on to science. Science was so much fun today because we did the song Firework by Katy Perry and we went outside and we had some sparklers and we lit sparklers while we sang this song and we learned about the atmosphere. Tell me about the atmosphere. What are some parts of the atmosphere? Um, some parts of the atmosphere, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, oh, oh, oh. Thermosphere, exosphere. Let's try that again. Some parts of the atmosphere, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, oh, 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 thermosphere, exosphere. And in science, we learned more about the atmosphere and the geosphere. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a little bit. But then we moved on to our geography and we had the Dominion of Canada. The Dominion of Canada for geography is right here, right above the United States of America. We just go a little bit north and we have the Dominion of Canada. We had Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia. Ontario is in blue. Quebec is the part in red or pink and then New Brunswick is in yellow and in green is Nova Scotia. Okay, and so we sang it to the song, Oh Canada. Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, that's all I know in the dominion of Canada. Let's try it again. Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, that's all I know in the dominion of Canada. One more time. Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, that's all I know in the dominion of Canada. Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, that's all I know in the Dominion of Canada. And that was the Dominion of Canada for geography. And so that's what we did for our memory work. And then for science, we learned about the parts of the atmosphere and we took a blank piece of paper and that circle that we did our pi 3.14 on, we glued it to the center of the circle and then we drew rings around the circle. And then we labeled each part of that circle with um, rings. We put a T for troposphere, an S for stratosphere, 
and then another circle for mesosphere, and then thermosphere, and then the last circle we did was exosphere. And then on the inside, we flipped over the page and we were able to draw the inner core, the outer core, the mantle, and the crust. And so we had um, the different parts inside. And then on top of that, we were able to draw on the outside the world. And we learned that in the different parts of these areas, different things, like in the mesosphere, are meteors. And in the thermosphere, we have the space station. And in the troposphere, that's where we had um, like airplanes and where we, where we breathe, the area that we breathe. And so that was really cool looking at all those different layers and also knowing about like more about the inner core and the outer core and what they were made up of and also the mantle and the crust. And we got to figure out what those were made of and why the center core was like it is and why the, the outer core was um, full of fluid. And um, so that was pretty cool. Then we also, for, um, for orchestra, we've been work learning about orchestra, and orchestra is a union of instruments. Another word for union would be like a group of instruments. And I'll make another video so you'll be able to see what exactly we did for orchestra. Super fun, we had a great time today. Um, but we learned about um, Handel. We listened to the song Water Music Suite Number no. Two, and he is a composer. His name is George Frederick Handel. And George Frederick Handel was a German-born English composer of the late Baroque era, noted particularly for his operas. And we found out a lot about him, and you can, um, we had our board, and I'll go into more in depth, and then we also had the classical period and the Baroque period, and we are going to be learning about these composers, and so um, we had these up, and pay attention to that next video, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!